in this video I'm going to show you how to get war unicorns in Dwarf Fortress. It's pretty easy. All you really need to do is follow the first couple instructions in the video, um, edit some text files, and then start your game. But I'm going to show you uh, all the details in uh, doing that edit, uh, and then actually capturing the unicorns and training them up, and then uh, securing some goblins. So you don't have to watch the whole video to get some war unicorns, but um, I'll show you how I do it. Depending on how you've installed Dwarf Fortress, um, if it is classic, you're just going to open up um, the folder that you have Dwarf Fortress in. If you have it uh, via the Steam release, uh, it's going to be pretty straightforward to get to. It kind of depends on uh, how you've set Steam up to uh, save your files, but typically you go to Program, x86, you're going to go to Steam, and you go to Steam Apps, Common, and then bam, you have Dwarf Fortress. Um, you're going to go, so there's a lot of really interesting stuff in, uh, in this directory structure. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to go into uh, Vanilla Creatures. Uh, you're going to go look for objects. So here are the definitions of a bunch of the creatures. You know, not all of them by any stretch, but each of these is kind of a classification. So we're going to go to uh, standard.txt. We're going to look for unicorn. So you have creature unicorn right here. And the aspects of unicorn so pet value so there's a you know it's a pricey pet it has horns it has a vision arc what we don't see is trainable that is the aspect that we're looking for and we can see this in so we want large temperate okay and the first one here is bear underscore grizzly this is grizzly bear which i find Grizzly bears being the best uh, war trained animals, they are not grazers, so you don't have to feed them. Um, and what they have here, you know, they have pet, they have pet value like unicorns, but they have trainable. So what we're going to do is just copy that, move over into the uh, creature standard. So you have pet value, good large roaming pet mount. So I don't think the order of these matter, but <laughs> like I said, I'm not a modder. So since trainable is right after pet in bear grizzly, I'm going to put it right after that in unicorn. Then we're just going to save that. You have to change this before you create a world. Like now that I have this, any world that I create, unicorns are going to be trainable. If I had started a world and a fort and found unicorns and then decided I wanted them to be trainable, making this uh, change will not affect that world. That world has already been built with the previous uh, settings for unicorn, which is that they're not trainable. So you have to do this before uh, you start a world. And um, I'm going to start a world now. 